In this video, you may follow a step-by-step -step tutorial of a single-story house with mezzanine level consisting of two attached volumes, a higher and a lower one. The tutorial is structured in seven basic steps as shown on this page. Select the guide entity. Its respective toolbar will be activated. Start by placing the necessary guidelines in X and Z direction using the commands X guideline and Z guideline. By clicking on the Hide Guidelines command, the snap points on their intersections will appear on screen. Select the wall entity to activate its respective toolbar. Right-click on screen or press the F6 button to activate the wall properties window. Start by setting the external wall's geometry, such as thickness, height, etc. in the Geometry tab. Click on the two-point command and describe the perimeter of the building. All the external walls can be easily inserted successively using the guide snap points created at step 1. You may easily check the progress of your model in the 3D mode. By clicking on the 3D solid view, the program switches to the OpenCL CAD for environment. The 3D floor command displays automatically the inserted 3D walls in shaded visual style. Tiling the windows vertically, you may have on the same screen the project plan and the 3D solid view of the model. Therefore, in that way, you can fully monitor the workflow and the changes made at each step. Use again the command to point in order to draw the building's internal walls. Instead of using guide snap points, you may also try using relative coordinates. Use the vertical command to draw a wall perpendicular to an already inserted one. Keep in mind the redraw command that updates the 3D solid view with the recent changes made in plan. Using the arrows either on your keyboard or your screen, you may orbit around the model. Click on the tab Floor 1 at the bottom of the model space in order to start designing the first floor of your building. Set the base level of the floor at the desired height before the insertion of entities and then follow again the above procedure to complete the volume of the building. You may again observe the changes in the 3D model on your left. Back on the ground floor level, floor 0, let's now see how to insert doors and windows. Click on the opening icon to activate the opening entity. Right click on screen or press F6 so that the opening properties window appears on screen. On the first tab geometry, set the opening's general dimensions and position, such as opening and cell height, length and cell thickness, etc. In the next tab, view options, by clicking on the window library parameter, a new dialog window with the program's default libraries will pop up. On the left, choose the general category, for example 3D aluminium windows, and on the right, the specific type you wish to use. Let's start first by placing the windows that have common characteristics. We will use two different commands. First, select the by defining one point command. Place the windows on the perimeter of the building by following the prompt messages that appear on the prompt menu of the program. 
This insertion method is prepared when you have already predefined the start point of the opening with a snap point for instance. Use the by defining the mid point command when you need to insert an opening in the middle of two given points, in that case in the middle of one wall. Go on to insert a different type of window, in our case the French door. First, modify the parameters to follow its new geometry, for example its cell height has to be set on zero. And then, select from the libraries the new type, for example 3D aluminium veranda doors, single fixed. Follow the above procedure using the by defining one point command to insert the new type window. Remember to click on the withdraw command to refresh your model both in plan and 3D solid view and update it with the changes. After inserting the windows, let's move on to insert the doors. In this example, we have two different types of doors, two entrance external doors and one internal single press door. Let's first see how to insert the entrance doors. Modify the parameters of the opening and from the door library select the desired type as before. Use the command door by defining one point to place the selected door type. If you wish to modify the swing direction, use the rotate 90 degrees command in order to achieve the desired result. To insert the internal door, repeat the procedure. Finally, click again on the redraw to preview the changes in the 3D view. Going on the next step, let's see now how to draw planes in Tekton. Clicking on the Entity plane, the Parameters window appears on screen. In the first tab, Geometry, set the relative height and width of the plane. Moving on to the Rendering tabs, set the appearance parameters of the entity both in OpenGL and in Ray Tracing. Using the command Describe Plane, start tracing over the plane's points and click on the Close Plane Polygon command to complete the outline. Let's see how it is possible to work with texture mapping using as a material texture a DMP image file. After setting the surface color and the diffuse color parameters to the desired RGB shape, Set the new material parameter in Yes and go on by selecting the material BMP texture image from the rendering texture folder stored in the program file directory where the software is installed. Complete the description of planes as before. Moving on the first floor, describe the mezzanine floor using relative coordinates. Okay. 
Previewing the changes is easy just by clicking at the Retraw button. The staircase that needs to be created leads to the mezzanine level that is modeled in floor 1 at height 2.50 meters. To start modeling the stair, first create the left stringer line by using the command to point of the entity line. Then activate the entity staircase. In the Geometry Parameters tab, define the height, width, tread and riser and in the parameter calculate the staircase by keeping constant the value, select the riser 8. Clicking in the Parameters group Staircase Type, Staircase Component, you may set the three different parameters. Activate the command Describe Left Stringer and select the lines drawn before. Click on the Smart Staircase command and the software will instantly generate the Staircase 3D model. Complete the procedure by clicking on Calculate Staircase. Select the Edit command and click on the steps that need to be modified. Finally, click on the Create Staircase in Plan View and Create Staircase in 3D View command. The model is generated according to the parameters set above. Select the entity loop of the main toolbar. On floor 0, start by setting the geometry parameters, the angle of the pitch, the relative base height, and the thickness of the roof. Using the command Describe Roof Frame, trace the roof outline. Complete the procedure by clicking on the Close Roof Frame command. The software will automatically create a hipped roof with uniform slope. In order to transform it to a gable roof, use the command Revolution by defining angle. Click successively on its left and then right side and on the appearing dialog box type 90. Repeat the procedure on floor 1 to create the roof of the higher volume of the building. Retraw and preview the changes in your 3D model. Activate the Balustrate Entity and in the Properties window, set the relative height and choose from the library the type Navy 1. Use the Add command and start placing the selected balustrade on the model by clicking on the Start and End point in Plan View. You have successfully completed your 3D model. Thank you for watching this video.